Are you using sticky columns on your Elementor website? You may come across this issue that someone highlighted to us on our Facebook Web Squadron group. Here we have an image that is inside of a sticky column. And as I scroll down, it kind of sticks to the top, as you can see, and we have some other text and a header coming in. Now, I've got two versions of this. The left-hand side over here will work. The right hand side won't and you're going to go well they both seem to be working and we now we have some more text and headers coming in but watch the right hand side one as we now get to the bottom and now we hit another blank container kicking in look at the text can you see what we've got going on over here on the left hand side this one is now moving up over here we have an overlap and it's not until we get to the bottom that the whole sticky column now moves away because these are both sticky as well. So how do we sort that out when we have multiple stickies? It's really easy and simple to do. Well, I lie, it took me a bit of a while to have a bit of a think, but let me show you how. I'm gonna keep this really, really simple as much as I can. We have two placement containers. These are just the items that sit above and below everything that I'm gonna show you because I wanted to have a bit of buffer space. So, so as I scroll up and down, you can see what it's doing. The main focus is our parent container. This parent container is basically just set as a row and I've justified the content. Now, you will decide on the size of your components that sit inside, but we are working with a parent container and inside of there, we have three child containers. I have left container, which is over there, which is currently 25%. I have a middle container, which is also 25%, and I have a right container that is 25. You could go with 33, 33, 33. It's entirely up to you. Also, my parent container at the moment is set to be centered. I could have gone with space between, space around. We'll just go with space between for now, in fact. So I've got three containers inside left, middle, and right. Does that make sense? There's nothing fancy going on in here. The left column is a vertical, as you can see here and the justified content to the top. The middle container is also column. I could also justify it to the top. It's not gonna make much difference. And the right container is vertical column as well and justified to the top. Let's just start on the middle container, okay? That contains nothing more than an image. It just has a vertical image like that, okay? By the way, this is just a screenshot I took of another test website, which is why it looks really odd with why we've got half the scarf here. The key bit though, is that if we go to the middle container, we go to the advanced tab, we go to motion effect, this is set to be sticky top. Normally it looks like that. You would go and put sticky top in and it then is set to be stay in column. That is it. Sticky top, stay in column. Now let's go over to the left container. The left container and the right container are exactly the same. In fact, I would recommend you create your left container you then duplicate it, move it to be after the middle, then go and change the content inside, okay? Here's the left container. Let me show you what we have inside of here. Let me get my words right. We have a parent container. The first child is a left container. And then inside of there, I have another child container, which is called first set of text. We also have a heading and a text editor. Now I'm gonna go through each one of these one by one, just so you understand what we're doing. The left container, if we go to the advanced, if we go to motion effect, is not set to be sticky. Okay, so the child container is not sticky. I don't know why I said that twice, but I hope you understood that. We have a spacer. The spacer is set to be 84 VH. I could have gone with 100 VH, 85 VH, 60 VH, whatever. If I do this, you can now see why. I've done that to push the contents below, okay? There are various other ways you can do this. I just found that this worked really easy and really simple. I have a spacer. That spacer, if we go again to motion effect, is not set to anything. So the child container and the spacer do not have any sticky applied. Now we go to the child or the grandchild container inside. That grandchild container, if we go to layout, it doesn't, I haven't actually done anything to it. I didn't have to, because inside of here, I have a heading and text. Let me just scroll down. My child container, okay, which is here, I've renamed it to be first set of text, and inside of that, I've dropped in a heading and a text editor. Now, this is where things get very, very important. 
The first set of text, that container, if you go to the advanced tab, that now does have motion effect. Okay, sticky top, and it is stay in column. You will also notice I've got an offset of 40. Let me show you. When you get to the top, there is 40 pixel there. If I was to go and put this to zero, when you scroll down, it would go all the way to the top. I want it to have 40. So if you decide you want a bit more than that and you want to have 100, you would go and put in 100. How much gap do you want from the top? So the child container has the motion effect applied for the sticky top, staying column and a bit of offset. Okay, I hope that is making sense. Inside of there, the heading is just a heading. There's nothing applied to it. There's no motion effect applied either. There's nothing done to the heading, uh, the advanced, the margin, the padding, nothing. You can do what you want in there, but I just want to get across it was the child container with the grandchild that had the motion effect applied. We then have a text editor. Again, it's just a text editor. There's no, no margin padding going on. And when we go to the motion effect, there is no motion effect applied. Again, I'm, I keep repeating it. Now I'm gonna go back to that grandchild container where I've said million times now, it has got the motion effect applied. But you will notice anyone who's eagle-eyed that I have padding of 350. Because if I set that to be zero, that is now my container. That has the motion effect on, yeah? I've said it like a million times now. But I also applied 350. Why did I do that? Well, basically, it was to stop this from happening. Because at the moment, you're getting a bit of overlap. And also, the text appears very quickly after the first set. By me applying 350, and there is no real scientific calculation way of doing this, you're going to play with it and get the number you want. I don't want that text to appear straight away. It does appear, but not straight away. And when you do this, I'm creating this like padding gap over here. So the bottom hits there. The bottom bit is gonna make um, um, sense in just a brief moment. So that was the child container. Underneath there, I've then gone and dropped in a heading and a text editor. This is not inside the grandchild container, right? You've got the spacer, you've got a grandchild container, then you got a heading and a text. This second heading, you can probably see, it's, it, it's got a load of stuff going on here, but let's just focus on the content. We got content, we go to advanced, we go to motion effect. There is no sticky top applied here. The key bit though is this bit here, 200. I'm creating a gap. If I were to set this as to be 200, again, you're gonna get, look, can you see it goes bang up? Right up against it. I want to create a bit of a gap there, so I've gone with 200. If you want to have a bigger gap, so you want to have like, I don't know, 300 from the top, you would go and apply that. And then when we go to the text editor, you will now notice there is a gap below that. Again, we have the text, there is no motion effect applied here, but the layout has a gap of 100. I found that I had to play around with this to get it right. Let me show you what would happen if I get rid of that bottom margin, okay? Can you see now, like, as soon as we hit roughly this point here, we now start to lose the top bit because now we're moving into the next container. By me saying, no, give me about 100, I increase almost a threshold before we now hit the point where now it starts to scroll away. Can you see the difference? I can still read them. Whereas if I had gone with something like that, I lose a lot of the wording. So there is a little bit of playing that you got to do with the text editor bottom padding and the heading top margin. Let me quickly go through that again. We had a spacer, which I added in a bit of size. We had uh, the uh, grandchild container. I added in 350 padding to the bottom. This had the sticky top applied. Then I had the separate other heading, which actually is here. I added in some margin of 200, and I added in uh, 100 pixel padding to the bottom text editor as well. I think this is probably blowing a lot of your minds right now, and you're going, this does not make sense. It does make sense if you just watch the video very, very carefully, okay? 
This side over here, I did not do any of that. And if we now again, just update and view the page as it is, right? You got your image, which, I mean, look, let me just show you, okay? Let's just make this be a bit more easier to understand. Let's go and make that placement one be super sonic, huge right now, okay? So you're scrolling and then the image appears and then the image will stick because the middle column is sticky. The text here, we have a spacer. Underneath the spacer, we have a child container. We'll look at the left side, left hand one, right? We then have the heading and text, okay? Then below that, we have this kicking in, right? And that text over there, the first child container also had an offset of 40, it sticks there, 40 pixels away from the top. And because of the padding and margins we applied, look at that, it starts to move away, but we're not getting the dreaded overlap on the right hand side. I hope, that makes sense because believe me, it took a little bit of thinking and messing around to make sure I could get this right. And the right hand side, like I said, once you've got the left done right, copy the column, move it over, change the text, and away you go. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And to the person who was struggling with this, I really hope this helps you out. You're going to have to play with it a bit, but you should know what to do now. Take care, see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.